stairs, we got to realize that there's a few different types of stairs, and a lot of people have trouble finding this little icon up here. I don't know why they hide it where they hide it, but they do. I need to be on a floor plan to place stairs. Why don't everybody flip around so you can see, because it's going to be good for you to learn. When I click on the stair button right here, I'm gonna all of a sudden everything's gonna go gray, and I can't do anything else until I say yes, I like those stairs, or no, I don't like those stairs. The stair button, if we're under architecture, it says it's right there. It's grayed out because uh, in the stair command. I need to decide what type of stairs I want to do. We have the straight run. We're not going to do these circular or spiral ones. They're just not very practical. If it's a second stairway, that's fine, but it can't be the main and only stairs in our building. I'll come up here to pick the type of stairs. Let's say that I want to do an L-shaped stair or a U-shaped stair. These are actually the easiest ones to do, either one of these. The nice thing about them is that they happen in the smaller space. They don't take such a long run, like if you're doing a straight set of stairs. A lot of you probably have an L-shaped or U-shaped stair in your house. You can imagine there's any sort of landing or you stay anywhere. I know we talked about this a little while back, but this will be a good refresher. So if I, before I place this, I can do a couple of things. I haven't clicked on anything. Automatically, when I click on U-shape or L-shape, I get the size of it. If I hit spacebar, I can rotate it up to four different ways. Oh, look at that. It's even giving me a 45 degree angles. Cool. We'll put a 45 degree angle couch in. Before I place it, I want to tell what my first floor is and what my, my um, top level is. Or my base level is going to be, I'm going to go from foundation, for whatever reason on this drawing, I call it foundation instead of basement, to first floor. And I want to place them. Or maybe I should go first floor to second floor. I didn't check the levels of this thing. It's not liking where I'm placing it, so let's check out what I got going on here. So I have a first floor and a roof. I don't have a basement. Well, let's change that real quick. I'm gonna make my foundation uh, eight feet below, eight feet underneath the first floor or so. Okay, now I have a foundation way down there. So I'll come back to my first floor plan, and now I'll go back to my stairs, they're under architecture. I'll do, let's do an L-shaped stair this time. First floor, I want to go from foundation, basement, to first floor. I can place them now, and they'll automatically go in the right place. If I look at them in a 3D view, after I hide things, we can see it goes from my first floor down to my basement. There's not a basement drawn in this drawing, but you can kind of understand that's what happens. However, when I look at my first floor, let's say I go back to my first floor plan, I hit yep, I like them. Got to process for a minute. You can see a little green bar down here. They disappeared. They're gone now. When I hover over them, I can see them, but the floor is covering them up. So I have to do is make an opening in the floor and actually the ceiling from the basement so I can see them. So I'll do a shaft opening here. And the trouble people have with shaft openings is twofold. One, they won't look over here and they'll, they'll have an unconnected shaft opening. When they go look at their final project, there'll be a hole through the roof because that shaft opening they have make it unconnected 20 feet tall and it's impossible. <laughs> and then you're going to have a skylight even though you don't want a skylight in your roof. So our shaft opening needs to be in the exact same place that our stairs are. My, my base constraint would be foundation, and my top constraint would be first floor. I don't want a base offset. Now, I haven't drawn anything, and I can't really even see where my stairs are going to be. I can kind of see a little bit of the railing here. I need to hide my floor. So to hide my floor, I'm going to have to actually get out of here first. should have done that first to get out of stairs. I have to come over here and I can use this little hide tool, the sunglasses, hide element. I'm going to hide a wall so I can grab the floor. Now that I grab the floor, I come back here to the little sunglasses, hit hide element. Now the floor is gone. So I can come back up here to shaft opening. I want to go from foundation to first floor with no base offset. And I'm just going to draw the line around my stair. hit OK. Now when I come back under your sunglasses, it reset temporary hide. It's there. So let's say, I'm going to look at this from a 3D view. I don't want my railing there. 
but sometimes we don't need a railing on all of our stuff. Let's hide that in the ceiling so I can see inside the house. So it looks kind of cheesy the way that the rails are attached to it. If I want to put a railing up here, I'm going to grab this. I'm going to delete it. So I'm taking, I'm deleting the railing that comes with the stair. Delete. And I can come back up here and hit railing. Okay, I can't do a railing in a 3D view, so I have to go back to my first floor plan. And I come up here and put a railing on the actual first floor. Railings are kind of goofy. You either have to do them in a complete geometric shape or just a single line. Otherwise, it's going to give you an error message. Now, when I come back to my 3D view, I can see I have a railing that's attached up on my first floor. And that's a little bit more realistic. Last thing, some people have been asking me about a deck. Decks are fun to do, and they're not very difficult. They have to be done in a floor plan. Let's say I want to make this a sliding glass door, even though it's a window. We'll make it a sliding glass door, and I'm going to have a deck over here. What I have to do to make a deck is really cheesy. Revit does not do a very good job of making decks. So I will come up here. I'm going to actually just do a floor. If I can find floor. Door, window, column, ceiling, floor. There we go. And I'm just going to make it a wood floor. So it's actually using a wood floor. Not realistic, but we're going to have to make it work. It looks okay when it prints out on Revit. And I can just draw my wood floor coming out over here. You'd walk out of my sliding glass door onto that wood floor. I can hit OK. I have a wood floor there. And then all decks have railings unless they're lower than I think it's two feet off the ground. And I come here and I put my railing in. And if I could show you the 3D view, it would look like a deck now. That makes sense. If I wanted to do stairs, I could do stairs coming off the deck the same way we just put stairs in here. Any questions on that?